Welcome to part three of Aurora's first residential project tutorial. In part two, you created a site model of your customer's home. From there, go to designs in the left toolbar and click on the add icon. Enter in a name, design one, and a cost of $3.50. This will take you to a CAD layout view. To start, generate shading by clicking on the irradiance icon in the top right. Please be patient while this loads. Once the irradiance map loads, hover your cursor over the roof to view irradiance, solar access percentage, tilt orientation factor, and total solar resource fraction. The lighter the color on the roof, the more irradiance you have. The darker area indicates more shade. Next, place panels on the roof by clicking solar panels in the right-hand toolbar. There are three ways to place panels on a residential roof, using the manual module placement, fill roof face, or Aurora's auto designer tool. To manually place panels, select modules in the submenu. In this option, each panel will be treated as an independent object and can be moved by itself. Select the Aurora sample solar panel for the module and the Aurora sample microinverter. Add in two rows, seven columns, and choose portrait as the orientation. Uncheck the string rows box, then click create. Click to place your panels on the roof location where you'd like these to go. Click, hold, and drag an individual panel. Select and deselect multiple panels by holding down the shift key. To delete highlighted panels, press delete on your keyboard. To fit as many modules on a roof as possible, we can use the fill roof face tool. Select solar panels in the right-hand toolbar. Choose Fill Roof Face in the submenu. Select the Aurora Sample Solar Panel for the module and the Aurora Sample Microinverter. Select Landscape as the orientation, then click OK. Click directly on the roof you'd like to fit the panels on. You can remove panels as necessary by clicking and deleting. If you'd like to copy and paste more modules, highlight the modules. Copy by using Ctrl-C, then Paste by Ctrl-V on your keyboard for Windows Computer. For Mac, use Command-C, then Command-V. A third option is the Auto Designer. We will not cover that option here, but please watch the video on the Auto Designer to learn how to use it. After you have placed your system, transition into 3D mode and simulate the sun paths by clicking on the play buttons next to month, day, or hour. Homeowners typically enjoy viewing what their house will look like by going solar. Next, to calculate system's energy output, go to Performance in the left toolbar. Click on the green Simulate icon in the top right corner to obtain monthly production values, offset percentage, and system loss information by running Aurora Simulation Engine. That's it for this section. Go to the next video to learn how to perform financial analysis and generate a sales proposal. For more help, check out help.aurorasolar.com or email support at aurorasolar.com.